Word ship. Words are warrior weapons of mass deconstruction. Terrific tools to shed tears, tearing down the iron curtain closets. Words are the clothes we commonly cloak ourselves with to clock in, check out, and overload ourselves with over time. Words are inspiring instruments of imperfect perfection and divine orchestration. Words are medicinal doses of music to the ears, open to listening, open to listening, and hearing harmony here and now, holistically healing deeply imprinted wounds of a dis-eased, multi-dimensional social body. Words are external signposts, symbolizing the internal blueprints of our DNA, microcosmic maps to guide us along this mysterious macroverse. Words are the various vehicles we buy, sell, rent, to build, trade, repair. And words are the very vessels that help hold space for some semblance of meaning, both beneath and beyond the shiny, squeaky clean surfaces of appearance deviating. Words are indeed necessary inventions of ancient Mother Earth's unconditional wisdom conventional innovations, capitalizing on spiritual technology, transcribing, transforming, and transcending each of us. PayPaling lip service simultaneously to sync updates. Not yet too late to wake up as society's sustainable grassroots, mind-body movements, regenerative bone shakers. Words are unsung keystone archetypes. Typically, typecast on the set, bunched into comically tragic, melodramatic, cardboard cutout boxes, crippled by a cacophony of cliches and cutthroat ceilings. Words are outsourced to be efficiently assembled by auto-corrected automatons, auto-tuned and factory farmed in falsity, shipped out for slaughter and left for dead, dutifully dying the prognostic series of deaths. Words, through their penultimately literary sacrifice, ultimately allow us to artfully craft metaphors, helping us understand what it is we are really living for. Maybe real lives are just real lies, realized for the first and every third eye time, real eye. Maybe real love is just real life, living and loving itself fully. Selfless, humble honoring, carrying on to recreate bountiful beliefs, gut-wrenching grief and weightless relief, sharing experiences of being human spirit, being worldly with words, fully living in this world, freely dying by our word.